hello my lovelies and how are you all welcome back to my channel but if you're new welcome <laughs> i'm amberina and i'm a luxury beauty and lifestyle blogger vlogger i guess also a personal trainer but that's for a different video but today i thought i would sit down and go through my best of 2022 i've got everything kind of around me here and i thought i would just go through some of the things that i've really appreciated using last year i was going to call this a best purchases of 2022 but there are a couple of things that i didn't purchase in 2022 so this is more best of it's really random and i'm sure that by the time i'm editing this video i will think of other things that i should have included but these are the things that immediately came to mind and I think that says a lot because if something immediately comes to your mind when you're thinking about the best of then it definitely was. So with all of that said I'm just going to get into it but before I do if you are new here and you're not yet subscribed or if you're not new and you are watching my videos but you're not yet subscribed hmm, please do please do why not I would love it if you were here for regular videos from me and yeah, I'm going to start rambling, so I'm going to get into it. So I'm going to start with the most expensive, not for any other reason other than it is the main purchase that I made last year. So I'm going to start with my Birkin bag, which I bought last year. It's not my first Birkin. I have a massive one that I use as a travel bag, but that was years and years ago. Like that was even before I was married. That's how old that one is. So this is the first one that I have bought in 22 years. And it is the classic. This is gold with silver hardware, 30 centimeters. And I absolutely love her. I absolutely love her. Now, she is probably my best of 2022 in terms of investment, but I am gonna qualify that and say, probably not the best of 2022 in terms of usage. I've only used her twice last year because I tend to travel on the tube if I'm going into town. Even if I'm meeting friends, I will travel by tube more often than not if it's in the daytime. And I don't like taking her on the tube. I've talked about this before. I talked about this when I showed her to you the first time ever. And I don't feel safe on the tube with something like this. So I only use her if I am going by car, which does happen often, but not in the daytime as much. So I'm normally, if I'm going out in the evening, I'll go by car, but then this, she isn't really an evening bag, to be honest. So from that point of view, <laughs> I guess you could say this is the worst purchase of 2022. This is not a best and worst. I'm just showing you the best. However, she qualifies for best and worst. I'm going to keep her in the best because she's an investment. I have two daughters. One of them will get this one day. And from that point of view, I... I'm calling her one of the best of 2022 but I would like to use her more I think it just it depends on your lifestyle right so I mean she fits into my lifestyle in terms of my lifestyle but not in the way I travel to my lifestyle does that make sense <laughs> I'm talking nonsense but anyway so that is the first on that note if I just if you'll just bear with me <laughs> a little bit I'm gonna say what my best of 2022 was in terms of bags. I didn't buy it last year. I've had this for about four years, I think. I, I'm memory like a sieve. But the best bag for me of 2022 probably will be the best bag of this coming year. And it was the best bag of the year that I bought it, like ongoing, is my Etro bag. Like when I bought this, I was in two minds. I actually thought I might return it because I'm not, a person that wears a lot of color I'm definitely not a person that wears a lot of print and I thought that this would be too much I also thought it was a bit folksy for me I'm not like I'm not into like folksy that kind of style it's not me at all so I didn't know if I would wear this I bought it and I thought I would probably end up returning it it has been my most used bag probably of all time like of all time. I love the fact that it's one of those bags, if you know, you know. So if I'm on the tube, 
No one is looking at that thinking, hmm, that's worth a few thousand. I think I might steal that from her. But it, it, it is definitely a statement bag. Like I get so many comments on this bag whenever I wear it, whenever I show it in photographs, always get comments on it. Apart from that, the practicality of this bag is on par with my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. It is absolutely brilliant. It has this shoulder strap, which is like this woven material in these uh, gorgeous colors. I never thought I would love this so much. And it also has a crossbody strap as well, which I use all the time. The gold hardware on here and around here on the handles is just as good as it was the day I bought it. And I. When I say I wear this all the time, I really do, but there's not a single scratch on there at all. It's just as shiny, hasn't tarnished, love it. And inside, I'm actually, I don't know if I should show you the inside, but I mean, okay. It's got a pocket there, don't look at what's inside. Another big pocket there, and then a little slip pocket at the back, organizationally, it's brilliant, it's just enough. It's not so many pockets that you forgot where you put something. Like, you know, some of those bags, they have loads and loads of pockets and then you can't remember which pocket, well, I can't remember which pocket I put stuff in and I mean, it's just so annoying. But there's a lot of space in here. So even if I'm out for the day, I can put in my perfume, I can put in a little bit of makeup, I can even put in my vlogging camera. I absolutely love it. I don't know. I don't know if you can still get this. I think they release something like this every single year. Slightly different designs. There's a really, oh, there's a really beautiful one in velvet with embroidery on it. So rather than this, which is like painted onto the leather, it's embroidered onto the velvet. It's beautiful. But I mean, that's not an everyday bag for me. So not going there. <laughs> but yeah, that would be, if I had to say what my best bag of 2022 was, and every year since I bought it, actually, it's this Etro one. Stay with shoes, because obviously, you know what I'm like about shoes. And I think that the best heels that I bought last year were these Amina Muadi slingback heels. They are so comfortable. I don't understand when people say these aren't comfortable. I've heard a few people say that they're not. They are so comfortable. When I was in Marbella in Easter with a girlfriend, we went out dancing. I was dancing till... 3.30 in the morning in these and I did not have any pain in my feet and neither did I have any pain in my feet the next day which you know normally you can't walk the next day if you've been dancing in heels the night before and because these are like a nude plastic I don't know if that's the right word plastic but because they're nude they just go with everything the sparkle I don't know if it's coming through on camera but the sparkle is everything and what makes these so comfortable is this heel, which I think it's a love or hate heel. My girls hate it. My daughters absolutely hate them. But because this is so wide at the bottom, it just makes them so comfortable. You're kind of like in that comfort zone of wearing wedges, but it is an, ele I think it's elegant. I love it. It's kind of hourglass to me. I absolutely love it. There's something very retro about that as well. And I love a retro look, as you know, like my style icons and my beauty icons they're all from the 1950s and 60s like Elizabeth Taylor, Audrey Hepburn. I just love them. So that is definitely my best purchase of heels last year and I would happily buy another pair but I don't need to so I'm not going to because these go with everything. Because they're nude they go with everything. I mean I wouldn't mind one that has a bow that's more on the gold side rather than the silver side so that that would go with different outfits that's the only thing that I would say but I don't really care I will wear these even with a gold outfit I love them from heels to flats there is no competition these Hogan trainers you can see they are so well used these Hogan trainers are definitely my best flats of 2022 I love the styling, I love the shape, and I bought these in a kind of grey and champagne leather colourway, so they go with everything. They go with whether you're wearing gold hardware, silver hardware, I wear these all the time. I've worn these 
on holiday with a lovely dress and gone out for lunch in them. I wear them to travel in. I wear them to work events. I absolutely love them. They are so comfortable with socks, without socks, with those little socket things. Just perfect. Absolutely love them. They are really, really flattering around the ankle. The way this sits around the ankle, it's just so flattering. It just makes your ankles look that little bit slimmer, a little bit more delicate. I mean, I just, I can't say enough good things about these. I know that some people say some of the Hogan trainers, you've got to be a bit careful because they can be a little bit middle-aged. I mean, I am the age I am. However, I do understand that there are some really questionable designs in Hogan, but I do think that these ones, they're just perfect. Last up in the shoes category, there is absolutely no surprise here. You could guess in a second, these Todd's boots. I have been going on and on about them ever since I bought them. I bought these online and they were my first pair of Todd's footwear. Like I don't have any other footwear from Todd's until I got this. And the minute I put them on, they were like slippers. Like they, from day one, I didn't have to break them in. The colour is perfect. They kind of tap into that chunky boot vibe that I've been looking at for so long, but never really invested in because I am only five foot two and I just thought it would make me look a little bit comical. But this is just that happy medium. I mean, it's the comfort for me. Ultimately, it is about the comfort when I'm in something like this all day. I love them. and. I love them so much that I then spent ages trying to track them down in black in my size. Now I don't need another pair of black ankle boots but the comfort level of these was just beyond anything else I have in my shoe wardrobe. So finally I found myself the pair in black that I wanted. It's the exact same style. I'm going to link everything that I can below for you, just everything that I mentioned. If it's linkable, I will link it for you below. But I managed to track these down in my size. I have a small size. I'm a two and a half in these. So I had to really search for these because they were out of stock just about everywhere. But I managed to find them and I've literally been living. I mean, you can see these. These look actually more worn than the brown ones because I've I wear them all the time. I wear them with leggings, I wear them with trousers, I've worn them with a skirt and tights, I just love them. And these are so comfortable as well. The only thing about the leather ones though is, when you walk, you can hear the leather, which I mean, the suede ones are absolutely silent. But I don't mind, because you kind of don't notice it after a while. And I love how they are a glossy leather. You can see how it's catching the light, but they are not patent and yeah absolutely love them so definitely those boots are the best purchase I have made last year in fact I think that these boots are a better purchase than my Birkin for sure because I've used these non-stop since I bought them I've literally not worn anything else so yeah I should actually have started with these because these were the best these and the brown ones they were the best purchases of 2022 as I run through the rest of it it's going to be really random there are some random things in here I just just thought I'd let you know. But my next best purchase of 2022 is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I used to use this back in the day. I think we all have used it, but I get sent a lot of makeup, as you will imagine, you know, to try out for my work. And I hadn't repurchased it for a long time, but I always thought I will go back and repurchase. I will go back and repurchase. And I just hadn't. Found myself in Selfridges last year and thought I'd go and get myself my Luminous Silk because I really think that this is the best foundation for like nights out and you know when you really want to look your best, your skin wants to look its best and that kind of thing. Anyway, I found out that they had introduced since my last purchase so long ago that they'd introduced some new shades like in between the other shades. I used to have to mix or make do with one shade or the other. This is my shade. This is 7.8 and it is just perfect for me. I don't have to mix anymore. I do have seven for the winter, but I prefer the 7.8 just because it gives me that extra warmth in the winter. Sorry if you heard that, that was Hercules sneezing. <laughs> He's just walked in. This is my favorite. And in fact, I wear it all the time. <laughs> 
I'm kidding myself that I will save this for special occasions because I'm wearing it every time I put foundation on. Just one pump of this. That's what I'm wearing right now on my face. And I love it. One pump is just enough to just even out and give that luminosity and that radiance and that dewiness. So definitely best makeup purchase of last year. I didn't buy any jewellery last year, so what I'm going to show you is actually what I bought at the very end of the previous year, but definitely my best purchase of jewellery in the last 14 months. When did I buy it? Yeah, 14 months ago. And it is this Bulgari ring. I bought this at Duty Free when I was travelling to Canada, and I wear it every single day and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna bring it up close so you can see it. It's in rose gold, which I wasn't quite sure about when I bought it, but it was the only one they had in my size at duty free when I was there. But I love it. It kind of just goes so well with all my other jewelry. And it's not too much and it's not too little. It's not the one with diamonds and things like that on it. It's just the solid gold. And I just love the way it feels on the fingers and I, I love how it makes my fingers look, if that makes sense. And yeah, just my best jewellery purchase of last year. In case you're wondering, the other rings that I wear on a regular basis, this is a Cartier ring and it's all hearts the whole way around, if you can see that. And this is a Chanel one that I bought years ago from Vestier. So that was a pre-loved one. And that's pretty much all I wear all the time. So. It's always the same, whether it's daytime or nighttime, I, I tend to wear exactly the same, to be honest. And like once in a while, I'll put on a glitzy ring if I'm going out, out, but really that is my jewelry. And so that was my best jewelry purchase. My best outerwear purchase last year was, again, this is gonna be no surprise if you follow me on Instagram or even if you've seen any previous videos here on this channel, is my Max Mara Teddy coat. And yes, I am only five foot two, but this fits so beautifully. I've been eyeing this up for so long because I saw it everywhere. Everyone was wearing it. It's a classic, it's an icon. It is repeated every single year. They do it in different shades and different lengths, which is good to know when you're investing in something, but I never purchased it because it was so expensive. And I just thought, I cannot, can't spend that much on a coat. I'm just not that person. As I mentioned in a previous video, I saw this pre-loved and I can't remember which site it was on now. Um, if I do remember, I will put it in the description box below. But I saw this on a pre-loved site in my size and so I got it at, I think, probably about, how much would it have been? I think these are over £2,400 now and I got it for maybe a quarter of the price. I can't remember exactly. It was a huge saving and it was like new. I think it had literally been worn once. This is my best outerwear purchase of last year. I wear it all the time. I actually wear it way more than I thought I would, which is really, really nice to know. I thought I would literally just wear it once in a while because it is such a statement coat, but actually I wear this all the time. When I'm going on the tube and I'll be wrapped up in this and I just put my crossbody bag over it and it just kind of makes me feel kind of safe and toasty and warm. You can wear just a silk shirt underneath and still feel warm. It's just lovely. I would really recommend if you can find this on a pre-loved site, I'll see if I can link some down below, but if you can find this pre-loved, I would definitely recommend it. I don't think it's worth, well, depends on your budget. I don't think it's worth what it is new at the moment. It's just ridiculously overpriced. It's just gone up and up and up every time they release it every season. But I think if you can get it pre-loved, it is definitely an, it's an investment still. If you're buying it pre-loved, I'm not saying it's cheap. It's still an investment, but it was, well, I've just used it so much all at the time. I use it day, I use it night, I love it, and yeah, I can't recommend it enough. I told you this was going to be random. I'm gonna finish this up with a really random best purchase of 2022. <laughs> you may remember in one of my previous videos last year when I was showing you bits and pieces that I bought and I had quite a lot of messages about it when I showed it to you here on YouTube because people were like, are they any good? Let us know. And I don't think I ever reported back on whether I thought this was worth the money. I did buy them prime, so they were a little bit 
reduced, I think. Get ready for the randomness. <laughs> These are KitchenAid frying pans and I don't know what the bottom one is, saucepan, wok thing. We go through frying pans like you wouldn't believe. And my husband is always complaining that our frying pans are not non-stick, they're not good, they're da 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 da, all that kind of stuff. So originally, I had, oh, I had bought this one, which is not, it's more like a saute pan, I think. It's quite deep, it's kind of like a, a wok style, but not a wok. I bought this one at the beginning of the year to replace something that we had before that was kind of at the end of its life. And I loved it. I think the quality is amazing. The non-stick of it is, is wonderful. Does that make is that good English? It's very non-stick. It's great. It's absolutely lovely. It's easy to clean. It, it's just brilliant. So <laughs> when Prime Day was on, on Amazon, I bought a set of two of the frying pans in the same series. Oh. They're quite heavy. I think there was a third one. My goodness, I think there's a third one downstairs. But this one, I think, might be a 20 centimeter one. And this is an eight centimeter one. Yeah, there is, there's a middle one. There's one in the middle of this. It was a set of two, and then I bought the little one separately. So this one, one that's slightly smaller than that, and then I bought this one separately. And we use them every day. When I say every day, we use them multiple times during the day and they're just brilliant absolutely brilliant like best homewares purchase that i made last year for sure i don't think i ever want to buy anything apart from kitchenaid pans anymore because they are just so durable and the non-stickiness of them <laughs> is is exactly what we need i love it so there you go that is a very random collection of best of 2022. Let me know what you thought of any of these, if you have any of them already, or if you've been looking at any of them already. If you have any questions about any of them, let me know in the comments and I will answer for sure. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, as ever, please do consider subscribing. And I will see you here in my next video. Bye.